Welcome to our channel Blender Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create the procedural knitted square fabric material in Blender with the help of nodes. And here you can see that I add the different combination of the nodes to create this procedural fabric material. And here I plug in all the essential color and required parameters into the group input node to control these parameter outside this node. And by pressing tab here, you can see the custom node group of this procedural fabric material. And here you can see uh, there are the different colors of this material along with all other parameters. And if I change uh, the scale, then you can see that the scales are increase and decrease. And uh, this is the fabric color. You can change this color as you like. And uh, this is the inner scale color. Actually, this is the inner part of the scale and uh, you can change this color as you like. And this is the outer scale color of this fabric material and here you can see the changes. And this is the scale, scale, scale and by changing this value you can increase and decrease the size of the scale and here you can see the changes. And this is the knit scale and if I uh, zoom in this fabric material and here you can see that the knit and here I decrease this value to increase the net scale and here I increase this value to decrease the knit scale beautiful and this is the knit pump strength and by changing this value you can increase the more and more pump to the knit and this is the roughness of this fabric material overall this will control the roughness of the fabric and this is the sheen weight this will add a reflection to the cloth and here is the reflection color and here you can see the reflection clearly beautiful and if you want to purchase this material along with all of my other material just then you can visit my patreon page and download stores links are in description so let's start first i open the blender and uh, set up the scene and here you can see that i am in camera view and also in a render view and uh, this is the plane actually this is the plane which i converted into the cloth by using the cloth physics property and if i enter into the edit mode then you can see this is the highly subdivided object and uh, here is the shader node editor and here I rename this material procedural knitted square fabric material which is I am going to create and I also turn on the screen cast keys because uh, you can see which I press here nice so first I add uh, the knit detail to this object so for that here I search for magic texture and uh, place the magic texture something like here and uh, press ctrl t this will be at the vector coordinate and mapping and here i use the uv coordinate and this is due to the node angular add-on and if you want to enable node angular add-on then you go to edit and here in preferences in add-on you just type note and check mark the node angular add-on beautiful first i change some value of this magic texture Select this by pressing Ctrl Shift. I can preview the magic texture. And uh, here I increase the scale. Here I increase the scale up to the 300. Beautiful. And here I put this value into the normal and preview the principal PSDF. Beautiful. And here you can see uh, this is the shading issue because this is the color data and this is the normal data. To convert the color data into the normal data, I use the node pump node and here I press place the pump node here beautiful now it's look better and here uh, you can see the pump strength is uh, too much high and here I decrease the pump strength to the half now it's looking better and also the normal into the height beautiful now it's looking nice now why I, I want to add the square pattern 
to this fiber. So for that, here I place these mapping and texture coordinates, something like here. And here I add some nodes to create the square pattern. By pressing Shift A here, I uh, search for the Voronoi texture and uh, place the Voronoi texture, uh, something like here. And here I use the same mapping coordinate plugin into the Voronoi texture. And here by pressing Control Shift to preview the Voronoi texture. And here I increase the scale of this Voronoi texture up to 30. And here I change uh, some value. And here I change uh, this type to distance to edge. Beautiful. And here I decrease the randomness to zero. Now it's look like a little bit square pattern. But I make this clearly. So for that here I search for the math node. And here I add the math node something like here. And here I choose the function in comparison less than beautiful and here i reduce this value up to <coughs> sorry up to 300 now it's look like a square type pattern beautiful and here i duplicate this by pressing control shift t this will be duplicate the node with the wires plugin and here i change uh, some value and here I decrease the threshold up to 170.175 beautiful this uh, value I decrease you can see the pattern in the scale type beautiful and here I add some colors to this fabric and also the scale so for that here I search for the mix color and uh, place the mix color something like here and here the factor into value into the factor nice and here i duplicate this mix and place something like here and here the value of the second voronoi texture into the factor and here the first mix into the a beautiful and here i also plug in the principal psdf place this something like here and the result of the second mix into the base color and also this into the surface beautiful and here i apply the material for the scales and uh, the fabric so for that here i change this material to the green material because this is the fabric material and uh, this material is the outer part of the square material and here i select this material uh, something like this beautiful and also change this material something like this beautiful and here you can see the nice pattern of the procedural knitted square fabric material and here i also change uh, some value in the principal psdf and here i uh, open the sheen panel and here i increase the sheen uh, up to the half and here i also choose the uh, sheen tint color beautiful and here i increase the uh, roughness up to the 0.900 beautiful and here is the final material of the procedural knitted square fabric material and by pressing f12 you can see this material in rendered view and here is the final render of the procedural knitted square fabric material thanks for watching